topic, guys. I don't know if I recorded a clip for it, but um, we did another trade a while ago, which was... Let me just find it. Hmm. For some reason, this page is being really slow. Oh my god, my frame rate. Um, so yeah, I've noticed with OBS, it hasn't like really been... What's it called? Recording the whole screen. Like, it shows the whole game window, but it has, like, a black box around it. So I'm sorry about that, and hopefully I'll get that sorted out. But I did that trade. Uh, scrap, ref, ref, filamental, troublemakers, cap. I don't know if I've recorded that, so I'm just making another clip. It's for the... In this, uh, yeah, Nobel amassment that I got. And then this big kill I have with seven keys, which I made a clip on earlier. So this is a, um, this is just sort of testing out uh, if that would, or if changing the some recording settings on here uh, would record the whole screen instead. So yeah, I have only one more day at school, and that's probably going to be doing nothing, which is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can really push for trading videos over Christmas and also I am very close to the bonk boy I'm talking to this guy who's got one and who's saving it for me because I'm and he wants unusuals so yeah also I have I'm get I'm getting there with everything um, I've changed my loadout to more green now than before uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to need to get um, green paint. But now I need to decide what shirt I'm going to have. I don't know about the Cool Cat cardigan because, to be honest, it's not my favourite. Because uh, it just looks like that. But I think I prefer the flapjack. Either the flapjack or the big man on campus. I might go with the flapjack actually. That'll be fine. Uh, so then I've got the Trilby and the Bonk Boy. So that's going to be my dream set basically. Um, but with the unusuals and such. So yeah. That'll be quite cool. I'm just going to try and sell these unusuals. I might sell them for slightly discounted. Because basically what I plan to do is buy the bonk boy now and not wait until I have enough for both because then it's a lot easier just to do low tier trading until you get uh, to more stuff so basically I'm thinking this is 1.7 buds here the noble uh, the war pig I'm hopefully just going to straight up one for one for the bonk boy in fact I'll send him a trade off but that's a good idea Oh, thinking. Uh, offer a trade. Um, so, yeah. Because some reason we're never on at the same time. So, I'm just going to send him a trade offer. So, if he sees it, then that's good. If not, then that's not good, I guess. Let me just put that in there while I grab... The this. So yeah. Come on. Don't be so slow. Now to find the bonk boy in his backpack. This is how you check if items are duped. So, alright, you see here. Oh, he's actually got a rocket launcher. That's nice. Let's, t let's check his history. And because there's not a big box here that says the item has been duplicated, uh, we are in the clear. And this thing has not been duped at all. It has been owned by two scammers, but that was at the start of it. I don't know how long they've been marked for or anything, but, you know. So, yeah. Let me just send them that. Because, actually, looking at the prices now, that's 2.2 to 2.3. And then my war pig is 2.2 to 2.5. So, 
Wait. Anyone have a steaming bunk boy? Let me just see if anybody has one. Because if they are, I'm just going to offer them now. Uh, the green energy trilby. Uh, that's going for four buds and outpost last time I checked. So that's going to take a little bit more building up to, which is good. Which means I'll have more series to do. I'm also probably, while building up for the trilby, I'm probably just going to do like a uh, side series just for me. Well, not really a series, but like a side trading thing. So if there's loads of just mixed up stuff in my backpack, then that's probably going to be it. Because um, I just want to build up to another unusual, uh, just something random, and then buy myself loads of cool items. Maybe like some pro kill streak items. Uh, some, just some more hats for some classes I don't have many of. So like, I have quite... I have enough for the scout, like, I have a loadout I want, so that's fine. Soldier, I might just buy some more hats and misks. Pyro, probably more as well. Demo, I don't really need any more. Uh, heavy, I want more. NG, probably going to get more as well. Medic, definitely need more. Sniper, need more. And Spy, need more. But then I have enough all-class stuff to last me. Uh... And then I'm probably just going to build up to a Max's head as well. If anything interesting happens in that series though, or if that whole thing, then I might just show off that. Wait, how much is an Australian sticky bomb launcher? Let's just trade... What's he called? Lime. Oh wait, no, I don't need to do that anymore. I found out that you can just type it in. 1.7 to 1.8. Nice. Hey. I want to offer this on the sticky. Let me see if he takes this, because if he does, that would be awesome. Because uh, Australians are easier to sell than unusuals, because more people want them. And it's only a normal sticky, so he might actually accept this. Um, let's just see what he says may as well since I'm still recording uh, so yeah last day of school tomorrow I am exhausted I really can't be bothered with any more school because there's been just stuff going on that yeah nothing really bad though so don't worry about that um yeah. I just want a break now. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, yeah, I guess I'll be back when this guy um, gets back to me. Alright, so right now I'm testing out OBS, uh, just to see if it's better. But we sold the Soviet gentleman for 2 ref. Um, we sold something else, I think. Look, I can't even... So yeah, this guy just bought it. Uh, let me just click on this. Uh, put that back in the right place. Put that there. Drag that down. Oh yeah, we also made these uh, things uh, for the daft brush the thing as our profile pictures. So I think mine looks quite cool. Uh, so yeah, let me just have a look at my inventory history, see what other the ref came from. Um, I don't actually know. Hmm. Oh well. Wait, actually, I think it might be a ref. For, I don't know, I'm going to keep it in the series anyway. It's only a ref at this point, so it really doesn't matter. So anyway, to the next trade. Okay, so basically what I've just done is I've sold the tossle cap and the filamental and some ref for this noble amassment of hats. It's Stormy Storm, which is a pretty good effect. Well, it's a low tier, but you know, it's quite a nice effect, I guess. Uh, I think I've had one of these before. I don't know. I might have done. Um, 
But the reason I did the trade was because he was offering a little bit of unusual overpay. And I didn't add much to it, so... Yeah. Oh, and I just gave him my clan and more as well, didn't I? <laughs> and then I added like 2.33 ref or something. As well. So yeah. It's a pretty cool hat as well. The Noble. A lot of people seem to like it, so hopefully it will sell quite quickly. If not, I'll probably just quick sell it. Because I want to get my unusuals. Or my unusual. My phone just went on. Um, so yeah, anyway, to the next trade. Okay, guys, so I've just bought... A big kill for seven keys, uh, just because I wanted to spend my keys on something. Uh, I think I might uh, be able to sell this this festive sapper. Uh, it's worth two to two point three keys, um, but it might go up. It's nearly Christmas, I guess. Um, and I also need to get some of those new crates, don't I? Yeah. Also, I've I might be upgrading my bone delir to a haunted bone delir. I think I was like donated it or something. And I've also just started picking out random weapons that I like to be in my dream loadouts. And still haven't done anything with this. I have completely reorganized my backpack, which I showed you about before. Uh, I also need the masks for these and then all the rest of the bot killers. Uh, so yeah. I also might do a collection of every weapon with every quality, but that's going to be very expensive. Uh, I know somebody called CJ has done it. He's on like the he's like the forty first richest person in TF two. Um, he's the forty first richest person in TF two, I think. And he basically has any weapon with a special quality. He has that quality, so his collection is pretty awesome. And, yeah. So, that might be a thing I do in the future, but um, I don't really see myself doing that anytime soon, to be honest. So, I just need to sell these two, which will get me another four keys, which will make m my total go up to ten. Now I need to sell this for... I think I'm going to sell it for eight, just to discount it slightly. <laughs> so, yeah. To the next trade. Okay, guys, so I'm getting an awesome... Mast flies and the party phantom. Uh, for my noble amassment of hats, some extra stuff, and uh, yeah, so I'm basically getting it for about 2.7 buds. Uh, I also found a Crusader's crossbow. Uh, yeah, definitely. So hopefully this was a good trade. I didn't really work it out. Um, well, I I did work some of it out. So rep fast and fair. Uh, so yeah, it's just a party phantom, so I, I wanted it. Because uh, it's a spy misc. So I can wear it with this set, which is quite cool. Uh, so yeah, it's also got mass flies, which is first gen. Um, so yeah, anyway, to the next trade. Okay, guys, so... um. I'm buying the steaming bonk boy that I wanted and I am in the clear because this unusual is clean and so is this one and I'm only adding two keys because you know I think it's nicer when you have like sort of less stuff in unusuals because uh, when you get higher up in unusuals so about the three or four bud point it gets very difficult to um, sell so the fact that I've just got one of my dream unusuals right here the steaming bonk boy uh, what's the button to take a screenshot? There we go. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's one done. Gee, I n oh my god, I never thought I'd actually get one of the Dream Unusuals I had uh, at this point. Um, so yeah, Unusual Bonk Boy, steaming. Hamburger. <laughs> I can't spell. Yeah. Furiously typing there. 
So yeah, my scout set is nearly complete. It's incredible. Uh, I don't know what this guy is. Wait, no. Who this guy is. I traded them before. So yeah, now all I need to do is build up this two but unusual right here. Uh, no, three but unusual even. Uh, and these three keys um, for or up to about four buds. Wait, why is it behind the... Oh, that's right. Nope. See, people are interested. People like it. It's an awesome hat. Uh, so thank you to the guy who sold it to me. Uh, I'm probably going to be keeping this forever until I, pro I might cash out or something. Uh, I got this. So yeah, this party phantom is like three buds. So I'm probably going to sell that and then buy cheaper unusuals. With the buds I get from that, maybe like three one bud unusuals, uh, something like that. Or even just smaller quick sells, or even strange festives. I want to try and profit with those. Um, I don't know if this guy has enough, to be honest. But yeah, this bunk boy is... It looks really cool. It's quite a visible effect, even on this map. So, like, you can still clearly see it. So hopefully with green energy it looks awesome. Uh, this guy might actually be buying my unusual. I think. Let me just... Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, I know what I'm going to call the video now. It's just going to be probably called... Um, uh, one down, one to go. Or something like that. Uh, something to do with the dream hat, I guess. Or I might just call it Steaming Bonk Boy. So yeah, somebody just found a bonk boy. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, also, yeah, I'm gonna just put nice find. Um, I had like a really. Um, yeah, it is the the f yeah, it's not. A it's not a fez. Uh, the phantom is duped, but, you know. Only on high tier. Um, oh well. I don't care if this look like one guy thinks it's not good. Uh, I might just ask like some of my friends if they want it, because, you know, they tend to like the unusuals. Plus this guy doesn't look like he has enough for it anyway. Unless one of those vintages we couldn't see. No, ace is high. Don't want that. Uh. Um... Also, I think the bonnet that I have, a subscriber has the other one. Uh, like, the subscriber has the other duped. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think he's got in, like, the history. Uh, I think he's put the description saying, yes, this is the other one of Spiky Mikey's or something. Which is pretty awesome, uh, in my opinion. Because I never thought... I'd get to this point at all. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody who made this possible as well. Um, it's nearly Christmas. Uh, yeah. So hopefully there's going to be um, more videos being made soon. Um, no thanks. Got my bunk boy. Oh, it does feel good to <laughs> it does get, feel good to have the bunk boy. Um, if I still had that tossle, that would be pretty cool. Uh, shiv, oh shiv. There's three keys. Uh, I changed it because the. That I'm going for now is 
cheaper when he gets it. <laughs> wow, it's 2.2 to 2.3. Yeah, I did overpay for the unusual, but, you know, if it's an item you really want, then you're going to overpay for it, aren't you? Uh, well, that's my logic anyway. But, yeah. Oh, this guy's gone. So yeah, anyway, to the next trade, just wanted to show you this, and yeah. Alright guys, so, thank you for watching my series of Revolver to Riches, Season 1. Season 2 is going to be coming soon, but that, uh, what I'm building up for, is going to be left down to everybody in the comments. So, I did the trade, um, uh, I downgraded my Phantom just directly for a what's it called a terawatt uh, bonker yeah uh, bake baker boy that was it just because the guy i was trading wanted a baker boy more than any other of the hats he listed and he wanted terawatt hats which was a good idea for me because terawatt hats were so cheap uh so i talked to him um the majestic kitty cat or festive majestic kitty cat at the minute, um, he basically was trying to negotiate deals for me and stuff like that. Uh, he got me two deals: one for the Terra Watt Bo Baker Boy and one for the Front Runner. But for the Front Runner, I had I had to add, even though uh, the Phantom was worth more. So I didn't really want that. Uh, so and he wanted to Baker more, and then I put money on Steam just to get the extra five keys. Since the guy with the baker couldn't really add sweets, and I didn't really want to risk losing the deal, so I just directly downgraded it and put some money on Steam since I had like a tenner. So, yeah, that's what happened, except the keys were untradeable. Because I bought the first five from the community market, and I was just like, oh wait, no, they're untradeable. Uh, so, yeah, that happened. Um, so yeah, then I managed to pay in items because the guy was being awesome enough to let me overpay in items. So yeah, I, I paid the items that were there, or that I had in my backpack that added up to about 8 or 9 keys. And then he accepted it because uh, he was playing a game, so I just sent him a trade offer. Because uh, he just wasn't responding to the trade and then the trade closed, so I just sent him a trade offer. And then later on TF2, just a little bit later, I got a notification saying I had new items. And then there was the Trilby, which I took a screenshot of as well. So if you want to see the screenshot, then just check my um, screenshots page or something. So yeah, uh, this is what it looks like in. Well, with the fish effect, which has uh, mean green and flames, and then we have the scatter gun with deadly daffodil and incinerator, and then we also have the trilby and the bonk boy mixed together, and steaming and green energy do look quite awesome together. Well, at least in my opinion, um, I like both the hats. I like both the effects because. Um, Steam is probably one of my favourite low tier effects, and I also have the Australian Scatter, the Luger, and the Mac and the Strange Festive Macro, which I wanted. But yeah, like I showed, this this is vintage, which is also awesome. And yeah, so what I need everybody to do in the comments, if you want to, anyway is suggest things for me to go for for the next series like what class I should do next maybe a promo I should do next maybe a collection I should do next or anything like that anything's going to be awesome uh, any suggestions will be considered um, uh oh I fell I fell that must be really scary in real life trying to jump from that window to that window and then failing like that but anyway yeah so you can pick from a soldier pyro 
I guess the demo Australians. Um, uh, heavy, which I, I'm not sure if I want to do just yet, but I'll still consider it if enough people say it. And then engineer, medic, s blah, blah, sniper, and spy. So I still need suggestions of which of those to do, or I can do a hat of undeniable worth and respect, a max's head, or a bud. But the bud's going to be way too easy because people are selling them for 10 keys right now. So yeah, I finally did that jump. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if we're going to suggest buds, I might have to start from something lower. Or I might just do that in my own little trading series that I want to do. Just for myself, so I can just spend it on whatever I want. Buy whatever I want and not have to worry about it. Or just buy items that I think look cool. And I'm also thinking of probably having like a secondary set for each class. Like, if I stumble across it. So for the demo man one, I don't know if anybody uh, who watches my channel watches CJ. Uh, he's the 42nd richest uh, person in TF2. And basically his demo set is a Sunbeams Regulator. Um, golden... Uh, what are those classes called? Dangeresque 2. And a Golden Beard. So I think that would be quite a cool set to go for, but you know I don't really want to spend more time making another demo man set when the set I have now is perfectly fine. Oh, if you just saw on the demo man this is golden, it's because I have that uh, skin pack again. Just because I sort of missed the um, Australian stuff, and you can see some of the um, bots are holding golden weapons. Just because I've downloaded some golden weapon skin packs. Or some of the skin packs that I've shown off before. Like, the spy has the knife. Uh, if there's a sniper that spawns. I said there's really... <laughs> weirdly. So yeah, the snipers are holding the Australian sniper rifles. Stuff like that. Except I don't really need this skin pack for... for the scatter gun, because I have one. So that's fine and cool. Also, I'm going to be naming and describing each of my hats. So I'm going to be naming and describing the tossle, not the tossle, the trilby, and also the um, uh, bonk boy. So if you have a name or a description for either of these, leave them in the comments below, along with the series you suggest next. You don't have to pick any of the series I've suggested. You can... Suggest so like a completely new idea if it, if you really want to. Like anything will be awesome, really. Because uh, I was thinking of doing a series where I possibly had to trade up from nothing, go to tour of duty tickets, and then play MVM until I got an Australian. So I think that would be a pretty awesome thing to do, but it could drag on for a long time, which is which was my only worry with that series. But I might try it out. Um, it would be pretty awesome if I got a golden pan in that series. Uh, but the chances of that happening are very little. Uh, that's a question I want to ask. Um, what would you guys do if you had a go if you found a golden pan in a tour of duty ticket? Or in a tour? Like, what would you do with it? I think I'd probably keep it for a while. And then when like the sort of hype of it for me dies down, then sell it off. To somebody else who really wants it for quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that's just my opinion. What would you guys do? Leave it in the comments below, along with um, what series you want next, and name and description for one of my hats or something. Uh, so yeah, also somebody or some people were asking if I still take donations for the daft brushes. Uh, yes, I do. We will be taking donations as long as you are willing to donate. If that doesn't sound too greedy or anything like that, because none of us are greedy people. We don't want to seem greedy. We don't want to just continually ask for free stuff. But uh, I just want, wanted to address that one question because I couldn't reply to it because he didn't have Google Plus or something, which really, in, which is really annoying about Google or about YouTube even that you can't comment on people who don't have Google Plus. So I can't tell the guy yes, we still accept them. So. Stuff like that. Um, 
So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this series. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe, tell every tell all your friends. Also suggest more stuff to do. Uh the Daft Brush first video is probably gonna be out Christmas Day. Um I think that's a pretty good day to do it. So if you want to consider it as a Christmas present, I guess, then that's cool. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Well, go and subscribe to the Daft Brush channel, which will be in the description below. Uh, I seriously recommend you do it. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. See you all in the next series. Goodbye.